Where do we begin? <laughs> mm. uh, I went to Vegas. Was, uh, yeah, yeah. I was at the ocean. Mm. Jimmy was in L.A. I know. It's it's so interesting to uh, keep tabs on everyone on Twitter, you know? It's kind of cool, like, right? Ah, oh, look what you're up to. Oh, Jimmy's doing some podcasts and uh, having fun and doing shows and talking to people. Oh, he's there at the beach, fending off a fucking a tsunami of army, hate, yeah. army of hatred. There was a tsunami of hate. <laughs> oh my god! I will never look at at Twitter hate ever again the same nah. way. Nah, <laughs> these motherfuckers, crazy. They come in like a tsunami. They try to wipe out everything, and then they just move on to something else, like a locust. I, I went from I th- I exaggerate when I was telling other people, but. I, I, no exaggeration, at least a quarter million hate tweets. At least. Uh-huh. At least. And then within two or three days, it trickled down to almost nothing. So it, it was like locusts. They come in yeah, yeah. and just fucking destroy your soul. And then move and on. Destroy your internet presence. And then they move on to the next uh, disgusting video like, or whatever the fuck they're into. It's like every alien movie where they come to Earth. Oh, no, they've come here to use our resources and then move on. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what they're doing. But uh, it, it was like Locus. Well, you know what? You shouldn't have taken such a topical video. And um, why oh. would he put that video up now? <laughs> because I thought it'd be all right. How's that for an answer? You just I thought, can't imagine. Wasn't that online already, too? Oh, yes. The video has been online for seven fucking years. And there's there's some some good quality hate in, in that version. Oh. But it only did about 40,000 views. And people have been requesting some of our old videos. And, and we got them laying around. So I'm like... All right, I'll put it up there. Fuck the, it. It's the been people, seven years. Are the people that did the that wrote the original hate on the original one that because it's been there for seven years? Are they mad at the new haters because they got on like bandwagon jumpers? Uh, right, <laughs> hey, right. I've been hating that video right. for years, man. Right. <laughs> and then I don't even know where to begin. Like I can't believe something that we did, mostly me, obviously. <laughs> Uh, seven years ago is coming to light now. Uh, ridiculous. Because that's the world we live in now. We're all everyone, fucking susceptible to that. And everyone, it's, it doesn't matter if it was seven years ago, everyone can look at something that you did now, take it completely out of context, right. uh, get their holier than that about right. attitude, and start lambasting you for shit. Of course, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think most people know, but uh, seven years ago, I jumped on a homeless guy's cake, but it wasn't just any homeless guy. And it was a shitty. Oh, it was Andrew. It was a shitty stale cake that he had uh, next to him that day. It was our pal, and uh, he was our pal. Yeah. We talked to the guy at pretty much every day. Every day on the walkover. The walkover from K Rock to the XM studio. We had a few homeless people that we would talk to on and, the way. And uh, know why and we had a few homeless people to talk to every day? Because they knew we were coming every right. day. They, they were opportunists because we gave them money and food and shit. So we would <laughs> see the same guys, and then the word would get out. It. Th- that sidewalk started getting, you know, pretty crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Because the word got out, like, there's a whole bunch of people that will walk down the sidewalk every day with microphones. They will talk to you for a little bit, and then they and their fans will just give money. Give a lot money. more money than an average day for yeah. these guys. And I'm not even trying to justify anything. And I'm, I'm just trying to get the facts out there and right. the story out there. I'm not, I haven't apologized or any of that shit. I'm, just getting, doodle. I'm just getting the facts out there as I remember them. Because I forgot all about this. Seven years. But they don't give a fuck that it was seven years ago. They no. feel like it happened yesterday. I personally, I'll tell you this much, have changed in a way where I don't even think I would do that for a radio show now. Yeah. Back then I would. Yes, of course. Yeah. I was different. Most people are different seven years ago than yeah. they are today. That fucking one dick bag that, that was posting uh, the stills from the video. And here you are only leaving a dollar. It's like, oh, really? So the whole everything happened between the time the video started and ended? Right. It was, the guy made, he, he got money, he got food. He it, it didn't put him back at all. He had a great time, like a fucking human being with, with 
people, so shut the fuck up. Well, it was like I was, I, I literally felt like I was the codependent wife defending my husband as I was on the fucking, <laughs> like, like we had been at the party the night before and you drunkenly stomped a cake. And I'm like, you don't understand. He's had a lot of pressure at work. But I was, I, I was actually, uh, I, I explained this a couple of times while I was at, which was fine. It's yeah. fun, fun to talk about. But it was like, they don't understand the totality of the relationship with right. this guy. Like, it was a guy, it, you did that as a dick move to a guy that you do something that you, to somebody you know. Like, it, the same way, right. like, we knew this guy. It wasn't, hey, let's be mean to a homeless guy. It was mm -hmm. like, let's do something funny to somebody that we know yes. who's okay. It, it's a it's weird... fucking Andrew. There's a difference between that and a total stranger. It's a total difference. And, and I yeah. totally understand what you're saying, but those people, they uh, will yeah. never even... Like, they they will not even listen to the explanation So yeah. you whatsoever. can put a price on a man's dignity? No. Get it. The one thing I did say, because uh, there was a follow-up video, because we, we found audio of us talking to the guy. Yeah. I, I don't even know, because, like I said, it's been seven years, but it was probably a, a couple weeks later, maybe, a week later. I don't even know. I think it was like a week, yeah. And uh, in that video, I do write, of course I would not just jump on a homeless guy's cake. <laughs> The context is that he became a friend of the show. Yeah. We well, saw him every fucking day. We messed with him every day. We goofed on him every day. Yeah. And he kind of goofed on us back. Yes. It was fun. And, uh, it was fun. So I felt in, in that world, the world we live in, yeah, it was completely acceptable that day to jump on his, uh, his, uh, his stale cake, his cake, make Jimmy and Anthony cringe a little bit, knowing the guy would be completely fine with it, which he was. Yeah. It wasn't like he was going to go. First of all, he got the reason he got money after that is he would have gotten money anyway. Yeah. It was yeah. like people gave him money just because he was the guy we stopped and chatted with. So you weren't just... Everybody would have been horrified if we were just walking and out of context. You oh jumped God, on a strange man's that? cake. Right. Yeah. First of all, you wouldn't have because you might have got sliced with a razor. <laughs> no, but does anybody realize that you wouldn't jump on a homeless guy's cake unless you knew him? No. Because yeah, you don't know how he would react? It's fucking insane. You wouldn't do it to a guy who might pick up a broken bottle and stab you with it. Uh -huh. Of course not. You do it to a guy who you know, right. who you're comfortable with, and right. there's a huge difference in the, we were friendly with that guy, and it was funny because of that. Right. It was like when, 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 and this is a different example, but like when me and I was on McDougal Street, and I had a nice slice of pizza, and I hadn't even taken a bite, and Louis walked over and slapped it out of my hand to the ground. <laughs> now I know the difference, homeless guy. But the, the, that was hilarious because nobody thought I'm not going to get more pizza. Right. It was just a guy being a dick knocking pizza out of my hand. Yeah, yeah. And, and he that, wouldn't just walk down the sidewalk and do that to someone he doesn't oh, no, know. No, not yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I wouldn't. But so, again, it's this: the the age we are living in now gives everyone a voice, and that voice is just whatever they want to take out of context, wh whatever minute they want to be fucking holier than thou. And, and and jump on this cause du jour or whatever it is. That's the world we live in now. So yeah. everyone had this voice. They see something. They don't even know what the fuck it is, really. But they're outraged. Oh, boy. They're really outraged. You know, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit for other reasons, but <laughs> not from a one-minute video from seven years ago. Did you ever piss into um, Louis' uh, oatmeal? <laughs> Someone's saying, oh, yeah. did I do that? How about when Louie was eating oatmeal and Jimmy <laughs> oh, did it? I, I don't even remember that. <laughs> I, I think like he went to the bathroom or, or something, and, and you, I you, pissed in his oatmeal. you went over you, you went over there, and you took his oatmeal, and you pissed in it uh, during a break or something. Oh, I'm, I didn't I'm even remember sure. that. Oh, is that <laughs> funny? I had no memory of that's That's the world we live in. Yeah. That, should be, that should be something I remember every day when I wake up. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God! I pissed in a man's oatmeal. <laughs> but it's not—it's not a stretch that we did this with other people no, within no. our circle, not including all. homeless people. homeless people. Fucking yeah, stalker Patty, friends of the show. That's just how it is. And, you know, I, there was more video that day. But when you're trying to make a video, that—that's you don't want to give away no. the stuff that happens after the big punchline. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because then it's—it's it's not as, it's not as entertaining for people. You know, when, yeah. when the mics go off and, and you see us all like taking out our fucking wallets and paying off, you know, someone. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it, it ruins the whole fucking moment. Right. Yeah, you don't want people to see you being nice in video. No. Oh, oh. I hate that. No, I don't right? want that rare occurrence to be seen. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. what do you got? Did you find it? It was actually live on the air. It was oh, live. Really? Yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Of course we do. Jesus. 
Democratic notion to say. And you're not even wrong. <laughs> Jim is pissing in my oatmeal. (laughs) Jim is literally pissing into my oatmeal. I was half done. He just pissed into it. I thought he was just. I thought he was just gonna stick his dick. That's what I thought too. Oh my god, it's pretty far. All right, I'll still eat it. It's it's pretty far. Yeah, if his dick was near it, I would still eat it. No, he was just pissing in my oatmeal. Look, Jimmy just pulled his dick out and and pissed into my oatmeal. By the way, how do you have that kind of control that you can just turn it on and off like a spigot? It's like your piss is a syringe (laughs) with the fucking those little black gradated lines on it. How many CCs was that? Holy shit! He's making some good points here. Oh my god! (laughs) But he thinks of what you have to say. No, no, it just had to be done. The old male was mocking me, daring me to urinate on it, (laughs) like a fucking Uh. cat. No. <laughs> That's mine now. A couple things on the homeless Charlie oh, thing. We never oh saw God. the guy. <laughs> no, oh, and then, and then we got homeless Charlie. Something else. Yeah. See, we were really close with the homeless. Yes. What year was that? To be uh, Tom. 2010. 2010. You know, Three and, years ago. And I'm glad. It's funny. So I thought of this. I was watching the video of the cake stump. I'm like, right. That's the one time I'm really happy that Steve would watermark everything. Right. With, with the with the date. Because yes. I didn't remember that that was so many fucking years ago. It, it was oh, six man, right? to seven years ago. Um, it's really hard to explain our world to to people that don't that don't live in this this circle of ours, where it's yeah. completely acceptable in the end to piss in someone's oatmeal. <laughs> you can't do that at your job. <laughs> Go ahead. Go up to the receptionist right. at your workplace right now and just piss in her breakfast. You just can't do that. That's but it's funny. But we live in this really fucking strange it's, it's, world. And then when, we do. when then when the outsiders, the people mostly that attacked uh. in the last week are outsiders that have really never heard this show, to be honest with you. I mean, the whole hip-hop community got involved because World Star Hip Hop uh, posted the video. Well, they are the fucking benchmark for morality. Right. Oh, I disagree. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah, they, they're completely <laughs> outraged by the, the one-minute homeless video. But the shit that's on World Star Hip Hop, and I'm yeah. not, I'm not trashing the guys because I go there. Their videos are crazy and you know, five guys out of control, but beating the shit out of one guy, blindside yeah. punches, kicking. But they have, it's great. they're okay with all those videos. But this is the one that really got to them for some reason. I don't get it. That's why I just like I can't fucking deal with the phony outrage oh. that we live in a world now that's just. Phony outrage. What bothered me the most, like, I understand why people would see that, like, and sit and go, what the fuck? Because if you don't know the show, all you see is a guy jumping on a homeless guy's cake, right. and you hear laughing. Like, they don't understand that those are fans, and those are all people who genuinely liked Andrew, and who, and he yeah. genuinely liked us, and we were talking to him about his drinking and trying to get him to stop, and then they're like, and then they did a homeless shopping spree. Like, they just didn't understand oh, mm. the fact that, yeah, we did the homeless shopping spree, but those homeless guys were loved. Oh, they were God, rock that stars. When they were trying to goof on that. They were saying, yeah, and th- they've also done something called a homeless shopping spree. They just spree. don't know anybody. These people who don't listen to the show All just right. don't understand it. So where we they, give homeless people money yeah, well, so but, they could buy winter clothes and, and, and be treated like fucking rock stars for a day. They were never yeah, mocked when they did assholes. that. assholes. But to be <laughs> honest, you know, the homeless shopping spree started out as a goof. Yes. Bring homeless people to the mall and right, bother right. a lot of people. Yep. But something happened with that whole thing where we spun that and went, holy crap, these guys are like rock stars for yeah, a day. Yeah, yep. And the whole the whole bit changed. People yep. loved them. People love those guys. Yeah, man. Thousands of people would show up in the malls. Everyone was behind uh, with the homeless. Uh, yeah. And Gray Wolf. And I, and I also had to point out that uh, it was Opie who pushed fucking... Uh, for uh, a mustard, like, you know, we didn't give a shit about my I mean, we cared about him as a man, but, like, you're the one who got, right. he did the song. Yeah, that crap. Yeah, me and Ant didn't push for him to get a recording <laughs> yeah, contract. Really you were the one trying to get this guy yeah, you didn't, you... a recording contract and a deal. And it's like, uh, and again, but, but people don't see that. So I have to say it because you don't, but people don't see that shit. Well, it's like, I sound like an asshole if I bring up the good shit. Cause, oh, what? We, uh, uh. Well, <laughs> but I felt obligated. That's right here because you can't talk to these people. I, I, I had one tweet. I'm like, you can't explain yourself to people that uh, 
uh, choose not to listen. Right. Yeah. You don't have to like what happened and all that, but mm. the, you don't even get past the point of these people even listening to what you have to say. And, and it, was, it was hard to explain that, like, you know, first of all, it was not me who stomped the cake. But more importantly, <laughs> but no, it's, it's just, it's funny that when people just don't understand the whole picture, and I, I almost get why they would see that and get pissed off. Like, all right, uh-huh. I, how would I feel if I didn't know the show? Right. How do you explain? Right. The fucking the texture of the show and our relationships and, with people. But those people, yeah. they don't care. They don't care about any okay. of that. They don't care about the relationship we had with the guy uh, before, during, or after. No. They don't care that it was. I was walking around the my beach house. Not I'm renting. So I'm, oh. I don't have an actual beach house. I'm just renting for the summer. And I'm just going. I'm talking to myself. I'm like, this was seven years ago. Seven years. Seven years ago. Seven years. And they're like, it doesn't matter. It was seven years ago. You're a piece of shit. I'm like, <laughs> it was seven piece years of shit ago. Again. I've worked on myself oh my for seven God. years. All of a sudden, seven back years to ago. Being a piece of shit. I'm like, holy fuck. Uh, and I and I mean this with all sincerity. I don't think I could do that same bit now. Mm. But back then, yeah, I did. Yeah. And I had no yeah, problem doing so. it within the context of what we do as a radio show. Exactly. And the relationships we build with whether they're uh, comics or homeless people. Context has no place in uh, in people's lives these days. It, it, it really is an amazing place we're at in, uh, in uh, history. The context means nothing anymore. We, we would bring homeless guys in, Tippy Tom especially. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Tippy Tom. And as a goof, like, it was out one day. I'm like, hey, co-host the show with us. Yeah. And he just I had, hold to, a, had no. to throw away all my stuff. <laughs> but how do you explain that, that to know, anyone? Also, exactly. we just bring a homeless guy that didn't know, you know, doesn't know where his meal's coming from or where he's sleeping. Next thing you know, he's hosting a radio show with us. Yeah. You can't explain this stuff to people. Golden Bucks. <laughs> yeah. We've always been um, friends uh, to the homeless. The homeless and always, people. Always, are, uh, always took care of them. Very cool to have around. Uh, this company kind of shut it down because we wanted to continue the homeless shopping spree. And oh, they wanted to do it in a fucking Costco or something. Costco. And we always wanted, we always like bringing in the new homeless because they're just fascinating people. Yeah. They really are fascinating. But whatever. I mean, yeah. it was. And then they, then they attacked, um, a Sandy Kane video saying, and, and you, he also smashed a homeless lady's guitar. She's, she's not homeless. homeless. And she's an entertainer. She's been entertaining homeless. forever. <laughs> and she's another one that, in the end, was completely cool with what happened because she understood the context of the fucking radio show. They were looking to be like, wow, look, I, I, I uncovered another one. Right. Like, oh, look at me. Look at I'm a detective on the Internet. In the Shut context up. of a fucking radio show. Would I walk around just smashing people's shit? No, I'd get my teeth knocked out. Can't stand the fucking phoniness. I'm not a brave person in the end. But in, in our world, then you know, okay, everyone's going to be cool with this in the end. It's going to be a bit shocking, yeah. a bit edgy. Yeah. But I don't do this as I'm just walking around. Oh, that fucking prune in a cowboy hat. <laughs> Fuck her, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we did a lot. Disaster we did a lot of good is. by her, and uh, in the end, she, you know, she sued me and Anthony over the guitar thing. Yeah, she made our lives a little uh, kind of miserable for a few weeks there. That fucker. <laughs> but in the end, we were friends with her too. She got yeah. it. She totally understood it. Yeah. Ah, whatever. I think that was it, right? Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? You know, I saw a couple of funny tweets where people were like, and then look what Opie did, and then it was the basketball trick. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I got, I got, I got good got numbers. Caught. I got good numbers on that video. Thanks. I got caught. <laughs> I got good numbers on that. Yeah, click on that goddamn video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess that's all we got to say about that. I mean, they're not. You know, they're not even going to listen to what, what we have to say today. But of course not. At least you got the whole story out there. It was ass wipes seven years ago though seven what, years seven, what what were you doing seven years ago seven years holy fuck yeah. is it climbing the charts again no I'm, I'm i'm looking for like like jim said like some people were posting like clips on on reddit of like asshole ob you know and then does something uh, that's like it's nothing it's yeah. a basketball clip it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there's a lot of ona fans on reddit too i mean that was just yep. uh yeah i appreciate the guys on reddit that kind of like stood up for for me and the show <clears throat> yeah yeah there's, there's a lot of uh people but, 
People just didn't know what to make it. Honestly, people who had never heard of the show or had heard of it in passing or just as a bad boy show see that, and that's all the context they have. I understand. And that's right. the problem with the world well, we live in. A little is, fucking research. Yeah, yeah. Fucking A. I understand. Like assholes. I, yeah, I understand. I understand uh, the outrage, but, you know, at least you, at least you got more of the story. It wasn't mm-hmm. just one... It wasn't just a minute video of some random right. fucking homeless guy. Yeah. Then I then I I'd, I'd, I'd be on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we knew him by name and everything. Does anyone else out there know a homeless guy by name? We we probably know twenty of them. Uh, good morning, name. good yeah. morning. And the line that got everybody was the line that we loved. Treat uh, yourself. Treat yourself. Like, he was telling them to treat themselves. <laughs> yeah, treat yourself. No, you know what? I don't want any ho- homeless man sidewalk cake today. <laughs> well, you can hear. It's funny in the video. You can hear me going. You know, it's it's nothing. The one thing is, nothing, I'm the code of Pentacle. No, you have some, Andrew. Yeah. And Anthony's going. I am not touching that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess that's it. So yeah, more of the story. You know, do what you have to. I guess, but yeah. fuck. I'm sure you'll get a little resurgence now that we talk. Of about course, it. Little, and it'll be little, more hate and a you know, aftershock. But their hate's okay, but my hate's not. Oh yeah. Maybe someone can explain that to me someday. Yeah. What I did was awful, but the things they want to happen to me now. It's completely acceptable because yeah, I was yeah. a piece of shit. So it doesn't matter that they're now being a piece of shit <laughs> attacking what I did. Yeah. Yes. There's some, there's some uh, asshole Opie does nothing while Roland gets tickled to death by a hot girl. <laughs> <laughs> that same asshole forces a homeless man to perform cover songs without appropriate license. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's a good yeah, one. There's, there's some funny Reddit stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Plenty of fans. Yeah, I'm doing funny. an AMA on Friday. Cause my special comes out Friday, so I'm like, I'm doing the, the AMA, and I, just, I know. I'm actually thinking of hiring a typist. Oh, wow. Because this is going to pop up, and I don't want to have to fucking and try to type all the fucking explanation. Actually, I know this is going to yeah, pop up. Like, yeah. what about that video? I uh, want to get someone who can type really fast and just fucking... Yeah. S- some woman, of course. <laughs> Forgotten acts of Opie kindness. Giving this make-a-wish boy Cialis and a hoodie footy jammies. <laughs> and it's a photo of you. Of course, of course it it's little Jimmy. Is that the pink one? It really shows my hog? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's something. Yeah, we were uh, obviously we were on vacation during all this. Did it seem like longer than a week that we were gone?